Can you see me? Am I in the shop? Let's see if this works. Okay, hi guys. Welcome back. White Rose here, yet again. To bring you another video. Now, on October 21st of this year, now, despite the fact that it mostly poured all day and it rained, it did not diminish the outturn or the amount of people who actually showed up for this event. There was quite a large number, obviously, more than I expected, but all in all, a large turnout had by all. Now, it was a vote yes rally from our equality. Now, if you don't know what that is, here in Australia, we are currently going through a period where we are being asked by filling out a little piece of paper that came in the mail, which, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link in the info card to a video that I recorded explaining a little bit more into detail what that piece of paper is. But here's a quick summary. It's basically a piece of paper that said, should the law be changed to allow same-sex couples to marry? Obviously, if you want to know my result, go up there, but you probably already know it was a yes vote anyway. But, you know, go check that out. you a bit more information on today's topic and what I covered in that video about filling that out and my opinion on the matter at hand. Went over in extensive detail over there if you want a bit more information on that whole system. And if you haven't voted yet, go watch that video and then make your own decision and post it as soon as you can. Now, today, I actually went to this event, to the Yes Rally for Marriage Equality here in Brisbane. I actually went with one of my housemates. <coughs> Met up with a few friends while we were there. Okay, we didn't know because of the rain whether or not this event was going to still happen. But luckily, thanks to the Facebook page, we were able to keep up to date and we were told that it was still on and it was just a light drizzle and that everything was still going to go according to plan. And as far as I could tell, it did and that was great. Massive turnout, like I said, for this event came out in our numbers. Now when we got there, there was a few marquees set up and a few stalls all set up in the George Square Garden. Now. There were stalls all the way along this huge path. Right, there was this path in George Square's garden. I don't know if you've ever been there in Brisbane, but there were stalls either side. And there was a marquee set up with a speaker who spoke for a while, which if you stick to the end, I will show you that bit of footage. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of actual speaker, but I got enough that hopefully there's some audio that you can listen to, because where I was standing, I wasn't able to see the stage, so I wasn't able to record it. But I was able to get enough that I was able to record what she said. Very important, stick to the end to see that. Also, like, comment, and subscribe if you really like this content and this style of vlog. And let me know of any other issues you want me to talk about here on my channel at any point. But basically, we came out in the numbers for this event. Before I got there, they were talking about umbrellas that you could get. These were the rainbow umbrellas, which you've seen Doctor Who. You know exactly what we're talking about. It's the yellow umbrellas that are like all rainbow colored. And also when you're walking down the street, we could show our support for the LGBT community with these rainbow umbrellas. Now, obviously I didn't have one of those umbrellas, unfortunately, but I did have a pink one. And if you know me, pink is my color, hence why I have it. But still, it was incredibly amazing for the amount of people who did get a yellow umbrella to support the colony and show your support, which hopefully by the next time we have one of these rallies, which I will be going to. I'll be hopefully going to future ones, vlogging it, and hopefully getting better quality than you saw today. So I am sorry for the quality that was recorded on my phone and uploaded through Facebook, and so the quality didn't lower. But hopefully that doesn't take away from this message and what I'm trying to talk about here today. Now, we did march down King George Square, and like, if you know where like the main section is, where like all the shops are in the main part of Brisbane, we kind of walked like the block around it, which if you can see here, here is some of the footage from that event, from where I was, I was about halfway down, I guess you could say. From where I was standing, there was a guy off to the side with like a microphone, like one of those old school, one of those microphones, not like microphone amplifiers, I can't remember what they're called. It's the thing that you would have like when you're at school and the teacher would have on parade duty, whatever you want to call it. He was chanting his little chant. And he would say something and the rest of us would respond. And then he said, and then we respond. Which is really cool because it helps get the message out as we're walking down. People who are standing along the side can hear our message 
and we can be heard and we can get our message across, which was the whole point of today, which is to get people to vote yes and for this equality towards marriage and the fact that same-sex couples should be allowed to marry and we're trying to get our message across for this fact. Now, the bit that I loved the most about this was the whole diversity of the crowd that was there. Now, of course, everyone had their flags worn as cape and whatnot, which even my housemate asked me where to get the capes. And I said, it's just a normal flag and they just tie it around themselves like a cape. Now, I would have done the same had I been able to find where I kept my flags. Because I do, I have the transgender flag and I have the gay or standard LGBT flag as well. But unfortunately, I don't know where they were. I tear my room apart to try and find it because I was actually going to get one of the rainbow ones to give to one of my housemates to wear on the day. But unfortunately, couldn't find it. So I was like, oh well, won't worry about it too much. Now, the flags that they had, they had the LGBT rainbow flag. They also had the trans flag and they had an Australian flag with like the LGBT colors. So like kind of like a converted version of the Australian flag where it takes out the blue background and kind of puts in a rainbow one. As well as the umbrellas which I mentioned earlier which were there to kind of symbolize gay pride. So if you ever go to an LGBT event and it's raining make sure you bring along your rainbow flag for much support. And if you don't that's okay as long as you're there and you turn up. Brilliant. And so we basically marched and we walked all along the like this main part of the city and we just walked around the block kind of thing. People selling stuff along the way. Obviously, if you can see here, here's a badge. They were selling them, and my housemate got two of them. One for me and one for him to wear up when we got there on the day because they were selling it. As we got there, they were like, come get your badges. I got mine. It says yes on it with a nice little rainbow. They also had other ones. They had a purple heart no Nazi one, which is an anti-Nazi, which if you don't know, if you know what a Nazi is, obviously I don't have to explain that. You know what that is. An LGBT Nazi is one where they target LGBT people. So an anti-LGBT Nazi badge is to symbolize your hatred for people who target LGBT people. And they don't also have to be like Nazi Nazis, like the World War kind of Nazis. They can just be someone who portrays hate towards the community. Or someone who says, no, you shouldn't be this way. Or I don't support LGBT community. Or being gay is wrong. Or being transgender is wrong. Or being lesbian is wrong. Or... Assign yourself other than male or female is completely wrong. Or going against a different gender to what you were at birth. It's like, it's completely wrong. It's unnatural and unnormalized. But the bit that I loved, which I'm going to show you in a moment, was the speech given by one of the people there on the day. Now, I didn't, like I said, get footage of them actually. Like, like you can't see them in the footage because of where I was standing. You couldn't actually see the stage. However, hopefully the footage is good enough that you can hear what they need to say. Because it's more important the message given than it is actually seeing who's giving it. But hopefully maybe next time I can get closer. Who knows? Kind of playing it by ear since I've never really gone out for this kind of stuff. But either way, I'll play that for you right now. Heat in the 
Equality, say yes to marriage equality, say yes to same sex marriage, all those kind of things, which was the core message of the day, which was people get the message out about how important it is to vote yes on the same sex vote for marriage equality. Whether you support it or not, the idea was to get you on our side as you walk down and make people aware that we are as dedicated to this as anyone else. Now we had all kinds of people. We had people, like I said, with flags. That were like the transgender flag, the LGBT flag, the Australian flag mixed with the LGBT flag, which is amazing. Rainbow umbrellas, which was to support LGBT, and especially this event, which anytime it's raining, you should be with an umbrella that is rainbow if you're coming to these events just so we can show our colours and our support and people can get their messages a lot easier to know that yes we are part of the LGBT community and this is what we have to say hints in our chants as I showed before <laughs> but the bit that I like was there was people of all kinds there were lesbians, gays, people who were couples, people who Brought along their girlfriend, their boyfriend. There was a guy who I believe was blind, and even he was there and he was chanting alongside with us, which was amazing. Even though he was blind, he was still able to walk alongside with us in the middle of the crowd. There were and there was a woman in a wheelchair. There was also at one point I saw on the facial page that there was also a dog and he had like a rainbow collar and like a bow on his neck, which was amazing. Even the dogs support this. And come on, if man's best friend is supporting this, and dogs only want what's best for them and their master, then obviously this is something worth saying yes to. Because obviously dogs can sniff out bullshit a mile away. And you know if a dog doesn't like you, it'll let you know. So obviously, it's all for this. That was just a few of the people that I saw and that I was able to actually tell that were there. Now, I don't 
I think I covered everyone that was there. There was probably a lot more people there than I actually got to see and whatnot. But oh my god, we were there in the numbers. I would say something in the, like the tens of hundreds of people. I don't know if I can say hundreds, probably like 50, 60, 70, upwards of 100, if not more. I'm really bad with trying to estimate numbers, but hopefully by the footage you can see how many people were there. Now I wasn't able to get footage from the front of this event. I was only able to get footage from where I was within the mark. But I also have a few pictures and some stuff that I've been showing you throughout this thing that are from other people that went to the event that I was lucky enough to be able to use in this. Also, I wore this shirt, which is an equal equality shirt for Australia. Now, this event started at 1 p.m. and about like just after, like quarter past, half past, we all ventured out onto the streets and we walked arm in arm down the street, churning our chance, getting our message across and trying to get our point to everyone. There were people along the sides watching. We had like police squad us. And yes, when we got there, there was a large number of more police than there is usually in the city, which obviously with the event, it kind of makes sense. It makes sure everything goes along smoothly and nothing goes wrong. I don't think anything did. Now, this is the first rally that I put up on my channel. It's also the first one I've attended. Same with my housemate that I went with. However, this will not be the last. Just because we did this does not mean this is it and that our message has gotten through and that this has made it a 100% yes vote because it's not. People are still going to vote no anyway. Being a free country of, well, I mean, say free speech, basically how you can vote any way you want. There are obviously going to be people that are going to vote no as much as there are going to be people who vote yes. However, as far as I know, the yes vote is way ahead. Unless something happens with like the post votes or the ones who haven't put their vote in yet and they say no, then it might throw it. But chances are it's all going to be a yes vote. Now I will do another video once it all goes through and they've all been tallied up to let you know it actually got through. Now obviously this is just a short little video. I say short, but most of mine become really long. I say this as well, but I just get passionate with what I'm talking about, especially with today's event. Now this isn't a me trying to spew this onto you. It's more trying to reflect on what happened and how a community of people can all be brought together from all walks of life and all sexualities, nationalities, and whatnot have you within the LGBT community and also other people who are a part of the LGBT community, e.g. straight folks or any other way that you like to identify outside the LGBT community, able to still be a part of these events and of this glorious moment. Okay, you guys, that was my experience with my very first mark for the LGBT community. Hopefully, I get to do more of these in the future and obviously bring my experiences here onto YouTube for you guys. And for those people who aren't able to attend, can still see what went on. And for those who are still curious about what went on, they can also tell. And we can also get our message across, not just on the day, but after the day. And also, if you watch my other video before the day, so that we can get our stuff across. Get everyone to band together for these issues because they're definitely not going to go away and even after the votes get through and they're all tallied up we are not going to be stopped there's still going to be issues it's just going to be whether or not it's the same issues different issues or anything within the LGBT community or any other community or any other thing that has an issue that needs to be addressed will always happen and i'll always try to keep you up to date on most things going on here in brisbane especially with the LGB community or here in Australia or within the world or anything that affects me, you guys here on the channel or anything else. But I just wanted to quickly say that, show you my experience and everything that happened. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did going to the event. Yes, it rained. Yes, I got wet. Do I care about that? No, I still showed up. Doesn't matter. Rain, sleet or snow. I'm going well, to snow here in Australia. But you get my point. No matter how bad the weather is, if there's an event like this and I'm passionate about it and I want to go to it, I will find any way to get there and to be able to be a part of it for the community and to show my support for everything, not just in the LGBT community, but all communities. This is just happens to be the LGBT community who is the vote yes for marriage equality, which I did vote yes for. Have a badge. 
Doesn't mean I did, but obviously I support it, so I wear it. Same with the shirt that I got in advance to wear on the day. Anyway, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all you lovely, beautiful people in the next video, vlog, or gameplay video on my other channel. Link to all my social medias and other channels down in the description below. Until next time, I've been White Rose, and I'll see all you lovely, beautiful people once again in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Peace out. Have a great day. Kiss it.